This is a walkthrough of the basic features of Scenic Map. I'm using Scenic Map Western USA for this video. This is the view you will see when you first launch the app. Tap once on the map to hide or show the toolbars. Tap the cog icon to open the settings menu. Swipe upwards to scroll to the bottom of the menu. I'm going to turn off the status bar so that the map fills the entire screen. The options at the top of the menu let you control how the map is displayed. Here I am switching between the map color modes. Natural shows the earth in its true colors. White shows the pure shaded terrain without color. The default mode changes the color based on the altitude. Now I am turning off and on the lines. These settings are stored in presets. You can see the five presets in the tab bar at the bottom of the screen. Think of them like radio station presets in a car. You can set them up ahead of time and then easily switch between them. The bullseye button turns on the information overlay. Information about the feature targeted by the compass rows will be displayed. The standard swipe gestures are used to move the map. You can use the pinch gesture to zoom in or out. You can also double tap to zoom in or triple tap to zoom out. Another way to zoom is to use the magnifier buttons. Tap the star icon to open the waypoint screen. Tap one of the rows and then tap go to waypoint. The map is now centered on the waypoint you selected. A two finger vertical swipe gesture is used to tilt the map. When the view is vertical, the map becomes two dimensional. Let's visit Mount St. Helens. The green area represents a park. It looks good, but the green polygon is covering up the terrain color, so let's turn it off. The polygon slider lets you adjust the opacity of the polygons. Let's tilt the map back into 3D and use a two-finger twist gesture to rotate the map. The city icon displays a list of cities and large towns. Tap on one to jump to it. The Tracks tab displays a list of GPS tracks. Tap one and then click Play Track. That new row of buttons lets you control the playback of the track, much like a video player. I am making sure that Use GPS Altitude is turned on. This will display the arrow at the altitude the GPS recorded, and a ghosted arrow on the ground below it. Let's speed up the playback by tapping the fast forward button a few times, and take a quick helicopter flight to Hoover Dam. This concludes our walkthrough of Scenic Map. Thanks for watching.